everybody, it's Catherine. Welcome back to Dryer Days Art Studio. Thank you so much for being here with me today. So today I'm going to do a video. I've already kind of pre-mixed my colors. As you can see, they're down here ready to go. I want to do a video with the Liquitex Basics colors. These are the colors I primarily use. They're a little bit of a more professional grade than your craft paints or your basic level uh, Artist Loft paints at Michaels. I love them. They're just beautiful when they dry. They're great consistency. I use them in my other paintings as well, but I just really love them in my flows as well. So I have my paints mixed up. They're a good consistency. I have already put my silicone in. I put the silicone in the pink, the blue, the white, and then this color I made over here. I made this with uh, the white, the blue, and the green mixed together. I kind of wanted a, a lighter color in there. And what I'm gonna do today too is something a little different. I'm gonna use two cups on here, and I'm also going to come in with um, a fluid white and kind of put a little bit of negative space in the painting. So uh, the way that I have the colors up here laid out is how I'm going to put them in the cups. And this will kind of show you too how when you put colors, even in the same order, in two different cups, the different look you can get in each one. It's amazing. It's funny, you know, you can like do this all the time, all day long, and then the minute you know you're getting, you're being recorded, like Butterfingers, all day long. Okay, and I'm gonna put a little bit of that lighter color in between here before I do the pink. The pink is a little thick, but I think it should be okay. backs up to um, a park with a pond. People come out here and fish all the time. Somebody's alarm is going off. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a little bit more of this color that I made. Okay. A little more came out of that one than I would have preferred. My kids are up from their nap, obviously. My husband's out there, don't worry. They're not just gallivanting around the house. So as I said, we're gonna use a little bit of negative space in this painting. So I'm laying down some white here to kind of divide it up a little bit. Some of these were a little thicker than I would have um, preferred. So I'm gonna put kind of the rest of my paint into another cup and see if I can get more in there. Sorry, I go quiet sometimes. It's, I'm, tr I'm trying to kind of watch where the paint is going, see if I feel like I want to add some more paint somewhere. That pink, for some reason, when I had mixed it was nice and thin, and then uh, it really started to thicken up on me, I think, in the time that I took to turn the, uh, the camera on. So. And sometimes that'll happen. Right now, actually, I should say a side note, my house, our air conditioning went out. 
this is really like a long running joke my husband and I have because whenever we buy a house, the air conditioning goes out. And um, so that will factor in with your paints. It'll factor in how they dry. I'm trying to keep this back room here as my studio and I have been trying to keep it relatively cool today because as I lay these out to dry, the temperature of the room can affect how they dry as well. You don't want it too cool or you could get crazing. It could crack, give you all kinds of looks that you're not going for. Again, you know, I tell people these paintings are a balancing act of so many different variables. And I think people sometimes will see these when I go to art shows and they're intrigued. They love the style, but I think, I don't know if they realize really how much thought has to go into these. Um, and I have shared before, it was a lot of trial and error for me. And that's why I started making these videos, because if I can help someone else not run into all of the issues I was running into. Because you want it, it's supposed to be fun, you know? And it was kind of stressing me out a lot at first, because I would see these artists making these cells, and they were saying what they were using, and I just wasn't... I wasn't getting it. I wasn't getting there until I found what worked for me. Oh, and this is already looking beautiful. I haven't even torched it. Let me wipe my hands real quick before I put the torch to it. Sometimes this thing is funny. Come on, guy. This is a new torch for me. It's making me a little nervous. Okay. Beautiful. You know, I can have the, uh, an image in my mind of what I think a painting is going to turn out like. And you just really don't know with these. They are just a mystery. Um, you know, like I said, I... You guys could use the sa these same colors I have laying here. You could use these, go to Michael's, buy them, come home, lay it out exactly like I just laid it out, and they're never going to be exactly alike. Never. It's not going to happen. Now with this one, I kind of like how it's dripping, so I'm going to let the sides do their own thing, but I do like to have just that corner lip of the canvas covered. I don't mind if the sides on some of these aren't quite covered, but I don't, you know, when you're looking at the canvas on the wall and it kind of curves around to be on the side, I don't like those sides. I don't like that curve right here to be not painted. And there is some kind of to this guy, I'm not really sure. Okay, I kind of want to let this sit for a little bit and see where it goes. I like the white that we have going on. to decide if I like this, if I want to try to pull that down more, but I don't think I don't want to mess with it too much. I am going to put it down on my dry rack and I will let you guys see when it is done. Okay, so here it is. It's still wet, but I love it. I was kind of debating on trying to run this corner off right here, but I love it. I don't want to change a thing. Y'all, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot. It's hot in my studio. I'm sweating, our air is out, it's, it's Labor Day, so nobody's coming out until at least tomorrow. But 
made a beautiful painting. There's my girl back there. She's next, working on her next. Love it.